little review tonight. Um, handmade belt. I've been looking for a handmade belt or a belt in black for some time. Uh, I've got a couple of brown belts which go with obviously brown shoes, brown boots, but nothing really to pair up nicely um, with my ever increasing collection of black boots. So very happy to be able to bring a UK made product today. Uh, this is from Chadwick Handmade Belts. Um, I found this, uh, this guy, Chris Chadwick, on Instagram and, well, it looks like he's got an exceptional product. So let's just have a look at the package that you get from him. Uh, obviously nicely boxed up, um, little label on the outside, opening it up. You've got um, a little extra which I did purchase separately, um, his boot balm, uh, which I'll probably do a separate review on. Um, I think that's five pounds, um, but that's an extra. You can use it on the belts as well, but initially no need at all. They're well oiled, well waxed, um, but I just thought I'd pick that up from him. A business card with his webpage, I'll put the links uh, below. And then the belt itself, in a lovely branded carry bag. So sort of the, the general presentation uh, I think is really great on this. So opening it up, we'll show you what we've got here. Now, this is the Bristol model and it's in limited edition copper. So this is the, the standard uh, English made uh, hardware that he uses. But this particular um, one has been plated in copper. Now what I thought was, because I wear this typically with denim or five pocket uh, jeans, um, the copper rivets on there, how they slowly patina, I thought this would be a nice um, match for that. So limited edition, exclusive to him, um, copper plated hardware there. We just undo this little string here. We can look at the belt in a bit more detail. Now this is a English bridle leather belt. Sort of typically three and a half to four mil, his webpage tells me. And uh, interestingly, I believe uh, the leather is sourced from a Devon tannery. So being a person based in Devon. That's obviously a nice little feature. Overall the whole belt is uh, got an exceptional level of quality and attention to detail. Um, this is all handmade by uh, Chris Chadwick. He's a one-man band. He's been building his belts and other leather, leather goods up in West Yorkshire for the last couple of years. Um, it's worth checking out his uh, Instagram page because he does take on uh, custom commissions so you can track some of that on his page. Um, the detail that he's put into this, the thought, uh, and I'll sort of edit in some close-ups as we go, really is fantastic. So the construction is a simple uh, construction, it's a, a hammered sort of rivet, um, but in order for it to lay nice and flat, the rivets are actually put in uh, reversed, so it's very, very flush profile on the face of the belt there and on the other side um, never to be uh, coming loose or removed and um, they're peened down, hammered down and the, the facets on those that take out on a, a sort of almost jewel-like quality. It's always a shame to have those on the back um, but the reason why they're there is for a very functional reason. Um, you've got the logo embossed there. Again, once it's on you May well never see that again, but it's the attention to detail that you get on a handmade belt from Chris. And then working around to the, the belt holes, um, these have got a, a sort of teardropped shape, which allows them to sit that little bit flusher where the, uh, where the pin of the belt goes through there. So as I say, Handmade, um, also made to measure. Um, so when you're measuring up your belt, um, find your favorite belt and basically measure from the, the belt loop 
that you use round to the um, the pin and that gives you the actual waist size you need uh, not your tag size um, I believe I ordered up a, a 36 inch belt here um, my tag size is is not 36 um, my real waist size is 34 typically the label will say 32 because of vanity sizing um, but as I say measure your favorite belt in the construction of the belt single piece of leather not a uh, sort of a bunch of laminated bits that you get on on cheaper belts nicely beveled edge um, which is waxed up and uh, burnished so it's sort of smoothed over in a sort of mechanical way and then um, waxed what's particularly nice is that the the dye hasn't been applied to the edge there and uh, that just adds a little bit of extra sort of characters of the belt a little bit of extra style and uh, really sort of helps sort of bring what is absolutely beautiful product all together so if we just take a look at some of the pairings I'll be putting this into um, you can maybe see how it's going to work with the uh, the clothes so I've selected day to day workwear nothing too exotic but maybe a, a pair of olive um, chinos from Gap and some Doc Martens and you know matching your belt to your boot colour is is important and uh, a nice pair of the office as well um, if you sort of can get away with sort of fairly casual clothing um, something a bit more interesting which is the Ironheart uh, duck cotton canvas um, 666 jeans um, along with some red wing blacksmiths and uh, it's got that little bit more of a heritage look to it um, really like the sort of pairing of the the duck canvas with the um, leather welt on those boots and the copper really brings those together I think um, on these jeans you've got nice copper rivets on the reverse side so you can start pairing up that patina that on the copper the video to a close um, as I say uh, Chris Chadwick is on Instagram if you want to check out what he's currently building um, his web page I'll put a link below um, I think this represents fantastic uh, value for money, the, the quality and attention to detail and materials seem absolutely exceptional for the price. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, this is £65. Um, this is the Copper Bristol model. Um, now £65 for a belt, it's all relative. I don't think that's too expensive. If you normally buy your belts from Marks and Spencers, you might think that's a little bit uh, pricey, but having had belts from Marks and Spencers, they simply don't last, they're laminated leather, they don't have the quality fit and finish, um, they look nice initially but they soon uh, have significant wear and tear. Um, on the flip side, if you buy your belts from Mont Blanc or somewhere like that and you're used to paying £200, um, this is still a better belt. The quality of this leather it simply will not wear out, it will simply look better over time. Um, yeah, check it out. Um, I think you won't be disappointed by this. I'm looking forward to breaking this in. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, very much into quality footwear, denim, high quality fashion, uh, heritage wear, um, but also other little hobbies like everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, cycling, um, guitar, recently taken up running, so expect some reviews on running equipment and trainers. Uh, obviously footwear is a a favourite of mine, but check out the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you join me for more videos, and I hope this is useful. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.